everyone, it's Jules from Squamish Climate Action Network. Um, thank you so much for being here today for our Zero Waste Around the Home workshop and giveaway. We're really excited to have you um, and to show you some really easy DIY zero waste projects that you can do right here at home. Um, I want to thank our um, supporters, so the Nook Refillery, Grounded Sustainable Grocer and We Fill Mobile Market. Uh, for providing us with some spectacular giveaways. Um, they were so, so generous um, and excited to uh, be a part of this workshop. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you two of our projects, um, the DIY Swiffer or mop pads, and then also the um, unpaper towel rolls as well. So you're gonna make, want to make sure that you have um, your you know, yard of fabric at least. I already cut mine up just so I can make things easier for myself. Um, so I only have six here and I cut them into um, 12 by 12 squares and so for this project you're going to need a, um, a paper towel roll, an old one or a used one, whichever you can find. I don't actually use paper towels anymore so I only had this toilet roll so I'll just give you an example of what we'll be doing with it. Um, for this you're going to need your um, cotton yarn, um, you're going to need a pair of scissors and pinking shears if you have it, otherwise scissors will do just fine. Um, the pinking shears basically just help it to stop fray because they're both no sew projects which just makes it a little bit more accessible for everyone. Um, and then for the end paper towel rolls, definitely going to want a ruler as well and then um, you can find a paper towel holder as well and a lot of people just use baskets too, it doesn't have to be fancy like this. So if you're not going to use the paper towel roll then you also don't need this either. So. Um, that's what you're going to need for this project, the unpaper towel rolls. And then for our DIY Swiffer mop pad, you're going to need the same kind of material. Uh, and then you're going to cut this one into a um, 10 by 12 square, but we can get into that more when we actually start. So for this, you're going to need the same thing, scissors, pinking shears if you have it. Um, stick on Velcro uh, is going to be great because that's what's going to keep it together. Um, you want to make sure that the sticky sides, because this is also a no-sew project, a ruler. For this project in particular, I also recommend like a chalk pen or something that you can note kind of um, your measurements on. Um, it's, you know, you can wash it anyway, so something that can wash out is great. Otherwise, you can always eyeball it. Mine are definitely not perfect either. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what we have here. Oh, and I guess the hot glue gun is going to be for gluing this onto the roll. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, so those are our materials for today. Um, and we will start with the unpaper towels. And what I'm going to get you to do first is obviously to start with cutting your fabric. So you'll have a big sheet of fabric, you'll have your measuring tape, and you can just start by measuring the 12 by 12 squares. Um, and you can cut as many as you want as them. I recommend, you know, 12 is a good number, but like I just went with six here, um, just cause I already have some made. Um, so I'm just gonna make a couple more. So you can see that I cut my squares here and I use the pinking shears and I will show you if I can get them undone. Um, they have this serrated edge and so that helps the fabric not to fray. It probably will still fray a little bit when you wash it, but they should hold together nicely. Next, what you are going to do is you can move on to your, um, your uh, paper towel roll. And so what this is for is to keep the shape obviously of the towels when they're rolled up so it has something to you know kind of stick to and cling to and that's where the cotton yarn comes into is it's going to give the the material a little bit of something to kind of grip onto on the roll um, so once again i'm just giving you a you know kind of a fake demonstration because um I don't actually have a paper towel roll at home, so but I do have a toilet roll. So what you would do is you're gonna heat up your glue gun or any glue that you have that you know would be able to stick the yarn on here. I would start with like a little dab in the corner, once again, just an example. And then you would stick your cotton yarn onto it, right? And then you can start wrapping. And I would glue every you know little bit just to make sure um, that the yarn will stay on there. Um, so that's going to be your next step. So we've cut our fabric with our pinking shears or scissors if that's what we have. Um, next, we've taken our hot glue gun and we have started to glue the cotton yarn um, around our paper towel roll. So that's going to be ready. And then next, what you're going to do, I'm going to put these away. And for an example of um, how to roll, I'm just going to use my rolling pin because it's a similar diameter. And then I'll show you actually how to roll. Um, the towels if you are going to go with the method of sticking it onto our paper towel roll. So what you're going to do next is I just start by laying them out one by one or sometimes it's even easier um, if you're able to see. What I'll do is I will lay one down and 
then you're going to take your next one and you're going to overlap it a few inches just on the end there and that's what will allow it to kind of rip off um, like a paper towel and kind of keep together and, and hold their shape so same thing you've done one here you're going to go along and you'll do the same thing to this one like that and then what you're going to start to do is you are going to start to roll them so once again yours will obviously be with a paper towel roll but roll them like this this and you'll just keep going and you'll see that they will um, make you know the same kind of nice little wrap like a paper towel does and then obviously when you go off to roll them they will come off like that i'm going to go finish this and then i will see you in a second all right so that's our first project finished the um, paper towel rolls you can see i have mine here um i don't have the um roll inside which definitely makes them easier to get off or really quick but still not too bad to just give it a quick pull either so um yeah when you have these you can use them with um our all-purpose cleaner that i'm going to give you the recipe for um, water whatever you need and they're really absorbent um, yeah they're just a really great kind of reusable um, option and uh, a really nice zero waste swap so that's our first project and let's get ready to head into our second so once again we have all of our um, materials laid out and I will uh, give you a bit more of a close-up and some more details in a second all right so we're on to round two already with our DIY Swiffer mop pads so first things first, once again, you are going to get the same material or fabric, whichever, if you have something lying around the house that would make a good mop pad, like um, an old towel or fleece or whatever, mine's fleece in this case. So what you're gonna do is this time the measurements are a bit different. It's not gonna be 12 by 12, it's gonna be 12 by 10. Um, I think I've gone over a little bit. It's probably more like 12 by 10 and a half, 12 by 11, which is totally fine too. Um, the 10 inch measurement is because that's how wide a Swiffer is. So you can adjust, um, based on what your mop or Swiffer is like. So um, the next thing you're gonna do is you are going to take the 10 inch side here and you're going to get your um, chalk pen or paint pen or, or whichever you have and you are going to measure out um, three by three squares in the center of it. So mine is about, yeah, 10 and a 10 and a half, 11. So I'm gonna go in between there to um, five and a half, so I marked um, five and a half first, and then I go um, one and a half inches either side, so I get a three inch square right in the middle. And then I'm gonna measure three inches from the top, and um, same thing to make a perfect square there. And then you're gonna flip it around, and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So um, this square that we are going to cut out on each side is going to accommodate um, the middle of the Swiffer so when we Velcro it, it has that space to go around um, where the handle is. So um, I'm going to cut this out and then I will be back and we will move on to the next step. So once again, we're taking our flannel, we're cutting it with pinking shears or whatever, um, and then we're going, and that's into a 10 by 12, and then you're going to take your chalk pen or whatever you can mark uh, to mark it with, um, and you know, you're gonna wash them, and then you're gonna um, measure the middle and you're going to make um, a three by three square on each end of the 10 inch end. Okay, I'm gonna cut these out and then I will show you the next step. All right, so I've cut out the squares. So three by three square and a three by three square on this end. And then what you're gonna do next is you're going to take your Velcro um, and you are going to cut it into about three and a half inch pieces. So um, I just cut a seven inch piece and then um, snipped it in two and same um, goes for the other end. So we have the little hooks there and then the, the other side here. Um, and then what you're going to do next, I find actually getting your mop or Swiffer will be most helpful. Um, so I'm going to grab mine and I'll show you what to do. So I'm going to put mine right up here and you're going to center it as best as you can like that and then I would get your chalk pen ready. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, mine's actually very dusty, oh my goodness. Um, you're going to fold it over, right? And fold this one over. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then what I did was I marked kind of where I wanted my um, 
Velcro to be. And once again, I just used my chalk pen and see, I just put some little marks there to show me kind of where I want it to be aligned. And then what I did was flip it over um, and to kind of see where it would hit. And then I marked it on the same um, end there. And I think it about, it um, equals out to about five, um, uh, half an inch from um, this side and about um, an inch from um, the loose uh, end here to the top. Um, and so, yeah, you're gonna do that on both sides of the Swiffer. And then the next step that you're gonna do is, let me take this down. So you're going to take your, so you've marked um, both ends where um, the Velcro will match. And then it doesn't matter what end you start with for which side, um, I'm going to, I think, put the, um, the hooks uh, down on this end that's gonna be the bottom and then the, um, the other end on the top there. So I'm going to basically just flip this over so I can see where I've marked it. I'm gonna take my sticky Velcro and I'm going to take the um, sticker off of it. And I'm just going to, as best as I can, center that right on there. So that's gonna be one side. And then make sure you're getting the same side. So that's the hook side. Here's the hook side. I'm going to take the sticker off. Once again, I'm gonna line it up where I've marked it as best as I can. I'm really just eyeballing. It'll totally, it'll be fine either way. So I have those sticky sides down. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark where um, it would be folding over and hooking on. So I've marked mine there. So take the other side of the Velcro now, if I can get the sticker off. Let's see, can she do it? There we go. And I am just going to do the same thing. Eyeball it as best as I can. Same thing with this one. Do, do, do. And there we go. So all the Velcro is on there now. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I will just show you the final result um, and I will stick it on the Swiffer and you can um, see how it looks on there. All right, I will see you in a second. All right, everyone, that's it. Those are our two projects um, besides our all-purpose cleaner, which I will show you in a different video that I've already made. Um, but yeah, so that's our unpaper towel right here. And then this is our DIY Swiffer or mop pad. I'll show you kind of how that turned out. So you can see this is an old Swiffer, um, which is what the dimensions are kind of meant for, but it's super easy to just measure your own if you have a, a different mop or whichever. So we put our Velcro on there um, and uh, they're great. You know, you can replicate them in just a few minutes to make more and they fit on there really nicely also. So nice and sturdy and you can use them just dry to do like a nice dust or you can use a spray, um, spray them down to wet it a little bit. Um, this cleaner also goes really well with our um, Paper towels also, it's great for um, countertops and floors or whichever. Um, you also get a little bonus because I show you how to make a vinegar one as well. But those are our two projects. They are done so fast and really great in like simple swaps, um, zero waste swaps for your home. Um, yeah, so we are so excited to see what you guys have in store for us. Remember, if you'd like to be entered for the giveaway to follow Squamish Can, the Nook Refillery, Grounded Sustainable Grocer, and we fill mobile market. Um, on our social media so facebook and instagram and make sure you take us in a picture of your creations as well because we really want to see them um, but yeah that's all i have for you today we're so appreciative of you guys joining this workshop and i really hope that we can have some more coming your way pretty soon but uh, go out support uh, those really cool um, new businesses in squamish and uh, and enjoy your your new projects uh, thank you so much for joining us today mm -hmm.